Brett Favre is in the news again. It's about the welfare money that Brett Favre got. Now, he owes the state of Mississippi $730,000. Now, Brett Favre said, look, I don't, I don't know where the money was coming from that they, that they gave me to build a facility or a volleyball court at Brett Favre's old school, Southern Mississippi. Now, Brett got a total of $1.1 million. He paid back a half a million dollars. The state of Mississippi wants $730,000 that's owed to the state of Mississippi. With all this misappropriation of funds, nobody went to jail in Mississippi. This welfare fraud case is big. Now, you did have some people plead guilty. I don't know if they did jail time. Also, uh, reports Brett got $5 million of funding for Southern Miss, the volleyball arena. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if he got the whole $5 million. But I do know in the state of New Jersey, jokers will go to jail. Getting this much welfare money, fraud, that one call it misappropriation of funds. On other news, Georgia quarterback Carson Beck bought himself a $270,000 Lamborghini. Look, it's his NIL money. He can do what he want with it. His NIL evaluation is $1.1 million. He makes a lot of money to play college football. Plus, he's young. He ain't thinking about saving no money. You think about no 401ks, no mutual funds, no retirement policies. He ain't on it like that. Not at 20 years old. He outside living. And most of us would be doing the same thing that we had that kind of money at 20, 21 years old. He'll think different when he gets older. He'll wisen up, get smarter, mature. When he gets 30, 40 years old. That's how most of us do it. And let me switch gears for a second now. Travis Kelsey, he responded to claims that uh, he made the fade haircut popular. He's like, nah, that's ridiculous. He said for the reporter to put that out on February 1st, which is Black History Month, that was wrong. Travis Kelsey's been playing with black athletes his entire life. He's seen people get fades his entire life in his locker room. Joker's got tighter fades than Travis Kelsey. My father had a fade back in 1956. 85% of the people living in the Northeast in the 80s had a high top fade. In the early 90s had a high top fade. Had steps with fades. Black men been getting fades. Black boys been getting fades since they had barbershops. But it doesn't surprise me because when blacks do something, people want to take it. They want to imitate it. They want to claim it as their own. Dude, half the things that we use every day to make our life easier, blacks invented. They hardly ever get any credit for it. It is fleeced, taken from them, and they end up never getting the monetary compensation for it, what they uh, invented. Now, if we didn't invent the fade, faded haircut, we sure enough made it popular. That New York Times reporter needs to do her homework, her research. Look at some videos, rap videos in the 80s and 90s. Cause she's straight clueless. Now I'm around a lot of people from Trenton to North to Elizabeth, South Jersey. I don't hear anybody talk about I'm going to go get a Travis Kelsey fade. I'm just saying, maybe they're doing that in Kansas City. Look, leave comments. I'm going to holler at you guys later. It's Corner Sports in the head.